Hey everybody, Sam here. And Elijah. And welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a fun father-son project out in the great outdoors. It's a tractor project and one that we think ends up pretty good. Yeah. Let's go. Don't need to get the even shoulder one that's about half as tall as that one. Well, I guess let's go get some 2x6s. Alright, let's do this. This plus the blocks is going to hold the bumper up when we jack it up. To be able to jack it up, we'll put this right beside it. lift it on this front hitch point. And so whenever I pick it up off the ground, the front wheels come up, we'll put those two by sixes under here, okay? Yeah. All right, two by sixes. And the reason we're doing this is because this little jack doesn't have that much reach. that one? Yep. Sweet. Spin this in two. Nice. Mm -hmm. Put it right there at the tire on the ground. It's fine. One arm. That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. I, I'm shocked. Obviously, I'm blown away, man. That's cool. All right, Mr. Pro Tire Remover, tell everybody what tool you got there. What you doing? So I got a really cool Craftsman drill, I guess. Impact wrench. Impact wrench. And I'm taking off these tires so we can paint them. All right, let's do it. What you doing there now? Getting all the bolts. Ooh, the they're hot. Lug nuts. What you gonna do with them? Put them in the pile. So they stay safe, right? Yeah. Ooh, those are hot. <laughs> Oakley Oakley. With those front wheels and tires off, we can now drag out our pressure washer, give these things a good cleaning, a good scrubbing, degreasing, and prepare them to be painted. While the wheels are soaking, I'm going to go ahead and spray down the front axle, hub, steering assembly, and all that. Might as well clean all this junk up too while we're at it. I don't know if I will, but I may decide to do a little touch-up paint here on the hub. So it's got to be clean too.
no telling if this has ever been done or the last time it had been done. So it's definitely needed. I've set a timer on my watch and it's already time to pressure wash the wheels. All right, get on up here. Do this one at a time. Is this your card? <laughs> Couldn't resist, guys. Couldn't resist. What do you guys think of my little car trick there? It's something that I saw on the internet years and years ago, and I've never had the chance to use it until now, but that works great. Playing cards placed between the tire and your wheel work great for super stiff masking so you don't spray paint your tires. And that brings us to paint. I tried to find some farm and implement stray paint that was the color of the rear wheels, kind of the off-white cream color, but couldn't find any. What I decided in the end was to choose some Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Paint Primer Indoor Outdoor Paint. Hopefully this will do good. And it really should, unless I hit the wheels against something. And at that point, well, okay, touch it up, buttercup. So, let's go ahead and shake and bake, get the spray paint on here, and see if we can make these wheels actually look really, really good. While the first coat of paint is drying on the wheels, I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about what my plans are with this tractor. I'm painting the wheels and this is kind of getting into the, oh, wait, are you gonna do like a restoration? Are you gonna paint the whole thing? No. 
And that's the decision I've come to, honestly, today as I've painted the wheels. I already bought some Ford Blue tractor or truck implement spray paint, not to paint the whole thing. I bought this thinking, okay, I'll touch up the bad spots and it'll be fine. We'll leave it at that. But honestly, the more I look at this, if I start and I paint one thing, it's going to look weird until I finish it out. Now, I may have already messed up by doing the front wheels. I don't know. We're going to see when they get put on here. They're probably going to be like, I don't know. But I don't want to go down this rabbit trail. I'm not going to do a full restoration on the Ford. I'm not going to break it down, paint it all, and do a complete, you know, parade show tractor out of this thing. It is an old tractor. I like the patina. I like the look of it, even with its blemishes, its problems with the paint. I mean, you can see up front somebody's done Bondo work. I like that. I want to leave it. So while I bought some of this stuff, I'm going to take it back to the store. I don't plan on doing anything to the Ford with the blue paint. So here's an area that's an example. There is like Bondo, some kind of filler, primer. You see it on the front of the tractor. And yes, it's very tempting to paint this and make it look pretty. But once you start here, you got to do the whole thing. At that point, you really change the whole story of the tractor. At that point, it's like, oh, yeah, somebody restored it. Yeah, it looks pretty. Cool. But it's not as fun. It's not as fun to see all the blemishes and think, wow, this thing has really seen some use. This thing's been neglected. This thing has been loved. It, you don't have that option with the story if you go and fresh coat something brand new or paint an old tractor. Now, given that's totally my opinion, that's just what I want to do with this tractor. There's no telling. Someone may get this when I'm done with it and decide to do a full restoration. And there's a bunch of people out there that do that kind of thing. I'm not knocking that. It's just not what I personally want to do with this tractor, at least right now. Look for the foreseeable future, for sure. While I'm not going to paint this, I do want to help preserve it and not let it rust out. I've heard that you can take a coat of just plain oil, I guess clear oil or some kind of oil, you can put it on your paint, make it look nice, and it help keep the rust from spreading at all and kind of seal the tractor. I guess similar to like oiling your tools, you know, your axe blades, stuff like that. You put a coat of oil on them and it protects them. I want to do some research on that. I think that would be a cool middle ground. It would possibly bring a little bit of shine and luster back to the blue paint and really protect this thing, which is what I want to do. I don't want to remake it. I just want to kind of preserve it as a time capsule. Sure, it's going to have new shoes and new, well, I guess if tires are shoes, what are wheels? Sure, it's going to have some bright front wheels, possibly bright rear wheels, but that's as far as I want to go with this. All right, we have got some clouds rolling in, and according to the weather forecast, we've got some rain heading our way. So I'm going to take the playing cards off the wheels, unmask the valve stem, and carefully put these back on the tractor. It's not time. I shouldn't be doing it right now, but I need to do it before the rain hits so that as they sit here, they don't just get washed away by the rain. It's going to be here for the next two days. If I can get that done carefully without any scratches, that'll be great. If I do, that's okay. I'll put masking tape around the area and touch it up later. I'm kind of working against the weather at this point. Pretty nice. Yes, it does look nice. I'm concerned it's too nice that they're now going to stick out just as bad as they did before being ugly. I think they're going to stick out really bad being really pretty. Put our valve stem back in. Alright, so these push down a little bit and pull the card out. Can I roll it? Yeah.
was kind of tapered so it helps center the wheel on the stud. Hey, gosh, that scared me. I had a um, grass spider just stuck to my finger. It was alive, too. I don't want to. You don't want to do it? I'm afraid I'll mess up the wheel. Okay. Well, come here. I'll, I'll walk you through it since you don't want to do it right now. You do the top and very easily, just till it stops a little bit. Then do the other side, and then roll it. The next one. What this is doing is help make sure the wheel is centered on the hub. We just got everything done, cleaned up, and the rain is just barely starting to move in. So that's pretty good timing. Yeah. All right, what are your thoughts? What do you think of the new painted wheels? Share on camera everything you've already told me off camera. They, they don't really match, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't either. I agree, they don't really match, but is it so much of a mismatch that we should try and take the back wheels and tires down paint them as well or are we going to live with it and let the front ones get dirty and see if it starts to blend i don't know i don't I'm know thinking about let's use the extra paint that we have try and do it we do have extra paint so i think probably what we're going to do is let it sit for a while let's let it weather let's let it get some dirt on it clean it off here and there and see if the stark brightness kind of simmers down a little bit I mean, we gotta wait anyway. The weather's gonna be bad for the next four to five days, solid. Yeah. So it's not like we can really take the back wheels off and paint them and all that. It's just not something we're gonna do right now. But I still think it looks better than what we started with. Yeah. The rusted, I mean, so dirty, so old, it's almost like brown color wheels. Yeah. I think it does look better now. You think so? Yeah. Are you sure? Kind of. <laughs> it just would look better after we. Um, paint some more of the tractor and paint the back wheels then it would make it look so much better. It would. But I gotta be careful though. I don't want to make it a whole brand new tractor paint wise. Really? Yeah, I don't want to do that totally. I like it looking old. I want it to look and stay old looking. Mm. We'll see. We're on the fence obviously. What do you guys think? Do you think it's good? Bad? Do you think I should have never done this at all and just left it like it was? Or have we just really started a snowball and there's no telling where it's going to end up rolling leave us a comment down below otherwise appreciate you guys for following along hope you enjoyed it i had pretty fun doing this project did you enjoy it mm -hmm. not bad for a couple of hours got something done before the rain moves in and honestly that feels good well we'll see you guys next time on the homestead see ya that thing's never turned so fast <laughs> it's 100 miles an hour <laughs> We got the new, like the old tires off. Now we're gonna get the hose and everything to pressure, like wash it. I mean, <laughs> darn it. Ah, don't shoot me! Ow. So now we're gonna, darn it. <laughs> now I know why you guys do it. Yep. Take care. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Uh, what's mommy always say? Well, guys. We'll see you next time on the homestead. All right, you do it. So now the wheels are off, so we're going to pressure wash them before we paint. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought we weren't pressure washing. <laughs> Call me Mr. Balance. The wheels are off. We're going to clean them before we paint them. The wheels are off, so we're going to clean them before we paint them. Good job.
I want to point something out. I am standing up as straight and tall as Sam gets. You're standing up straight and tall. There is like maybe an inch and a half difference. The only real difference is I'm on the concrete pad in front of the workshop and you're standing on the workshop floor. I mean, we're talking maybe eight inches difference. Yeah. Okay, maybe more than eight inches. My head's kind of big. <laughs> you are growing fast. That's great. I don't need a ladder anymore. When you get tall enough, I'm going to have you get all the tall stuff for me. I come from a short stock. I don't know what to tell you, son. Although, you may just stop growing all of a sudden. That may be it. That'd be cool. We might just get shorter and shorter with every generation. Which is different from all those people in the world out there growing up on antibiotic growth hormone milk. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's just, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs>